and why does the Bitcoin price continue to face selling pressure despite strong whale activity? Let's dive into the recent data from CryptoQuant that shows a surge in Bitcoin spending, activity, and exchange inflows. The data reveals that Bitcoin wallets holding coins in the 1M, 3N, 3N, 6N, and 6N, 12N age bands have seen a significant increase in Bitcoin spending. Over the weekend, nearly 40% of the Bitcoin sent to exchanges came from wallets holding the 3M, 6M range. Uh, this surge in Bitcoin spending to exchanges uh, can impact the BTC price, uh, creating further selling pressure. The analysis suggests that the selling activity could lead to a, a short-term increase um, in the BTC price, followed by uh, a major downturn uh, potentially resulting in a market free fall. Uh, crypto analyst Michael Van de Pop stated that the BTC price has been stuck for a long time between 57k and 73k and expects it to decline further in the early part of this week. However, the analyst expects the BTC price to hold firmly in the range of 63k and 64.5k. On the other hand, bullish divergence has solidified with the price attempting to maintain above $66,300. It's crucial for bulls to step up now and reclaim this range. Bitcoin's bigger sideways price action has led to some impatience among investors. With that said, crypto analyst Ali Martinez highlighted a significant potential liquidation event on Binance should Bitcoin's price reach $67,450. Martinez projected that approximately $19.50 million worth of property could be liquidated on the exchange under these conditions. Uh, so will the BTC price break through the resistance level or will the selling pressure continue to flirt around $66,000? Only time will tell. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching and until next time. And if you're wondering, no, I didn't liquidate any of my Bitcoins um, at that price level I'm holding on tight.